Now the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, try launching the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Over here you can see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not launching make a right click once again select properties this time put a check over here select windows 8 and then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game still not working then this time select windows 7 over here and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimizations and then click on apply click on ok and then launch the game still not working then you can open this test underscore c folder binaries win64 do the same thing with this exe file make a right click and then select properties and then do the same thing run this program as an administrator apply ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work then Put a check over here select windows 8 apply ok launch the game if that does not work try windows 7 over here hit on apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still it's not working then you can uncheck all these boxes and then follow the next step go back and do the same thing with the first exe file so make a right click select properties and then uncheck all these boxes if it's not working and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to try d3 d11 in launch option so you can make a right click on the game select properties now in the launch option type in dash d3 d11 and now launch the game and then check still not working then this time type in dash dx11 and then launch the game still not working then you can try dash dx12 and then try to launch the game and then check still not working then you can remove this empty it and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files click on it once the verification is complete now you can launch the game next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you are using windows security then open windows settings and then if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder find the steam folder and then open the steam folder now open steam apps folder open steam apps folder now open the common folder now over here you will find the game folder open the game folder over here so, yeah this is the right one open this folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open again click on add add in loud app browse all apps this time open test underscore c folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open once the game is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now click on system and security now click on windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now click on change settings on the top now click on allow another app now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder so open program 5686 now open the steam folder 
steam apps folder and then common folder object project quarantine folder select this exe file now click on open again now click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app browse and then this time open test c binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open now click on add now once the game is added over here now click on ok and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia now you can go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's g46 penis select your product type and then select the right product series for me it's 30 series so i will select 30 series make sure that you select your product series and then select your graphic card so make sure that you select your graphic card over here and if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 this will be game ready driver and then english united states now click on search and then click on download and once the download is complete run this exe file so click on download once again and then you have to run the exe file now once you once the download is complete uh, you have to run the exe file and once you run the exe file click on ok and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation now this is important so make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete let it complete and once that is complete restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings now over here click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file now click on add once it is added now click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and this time open test c binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once it is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 
into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 4915152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to create a backup and rename, or you can delete the save game files. When you rename or delete the save game files, you will lose all the game progress. You have, to, you have to start everything from scratch. So only if you agree, then you can rename or delete the save game files. Now open File Explorer and then go to this PC, open C drive, now open Users folder. Now open your username folder and then open App Data. If you don't see App Data on the top, click on View, select Show and then put a check on Hidden Items and then open App Data folder. Now open the local folder, now open this test C folder and then open save folder. Now open save games. This is where you can access the save game files. Now you can go back. We will just rename this test underscore C folder. So make a right click and then you can rename it as dot old or whatever you want. You can rename it. And once you rename it, you have to start everything from scratch. The game will start from scratch. So now you can launch the game and then check still not working. You can delete this save game files. Once, when, once you rename, it will create another test underscore C folder. So delete the save game files and then you can launch the game and then check. But you will lose all the game progress as I've already told you. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now scroll down over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download x86 and then run this exe file. You have to download both x86 and x64. So first of all, let me run this x86 file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install, click on yes to allow. Now download x64 file and then run x64 exe file once the download is complete now run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete once both are installed you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game so make sure this is first of all both are installed and then you can restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to unplug external devices from your computer which you are not using. So if you have these devices connected, you can disconnect it. Also, if you have, like sometimes we have additional controller connected to the computer, you can disconnect additional controller or disconnect controller and then disable multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. Also, if you have any third party application or services running, you can close it. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also close all the other overlay applications. So if you have Discord running, close it. If you have GE Force Experience running, close it. So close all the overlay application. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner or any other overclocking application close it perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, also update your Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, 
now restart your computer and after the system restart try launching the game now the next step is to now you can skip this step if you are if you are not able to launch the game if you are able to launch the game you can switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings so if you can launch the game now you can go to options and then go to graphics now over here if overall overall quality is set to epic you can set it to high or you can even go for medium now scroll down now if you're using dlss in that case you can set it to medium if you are using fsr set it to medium now if this is set to full screen you can try borderless you can even switch for window mode you can set the fps at 60 you can turn off the v-sync and then check scroll down and turn off motion blur so i've turned these options off and then apply the settings and then check the performance now the last step is to uninstall the game and then uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after you uninstall the game delete the game folder so go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart the computer and then reinstall the game to c drive if you have installed the game to another ssd you can try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed in c drive then you can try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel